Hello again, this is Rob Matthews with Carpet Pill Renovations. We are finishing up day number three, today's Wednesday, of um, the Harris Project. And uh, just give you an update of where we are. I'm standing here in the front entry again, and we've started to uh, get some framing put back in. So that's doorway, uh, you can kind of see where the doorway was, the height was. Now it's going to be about a foot taller and it's about three foot wider than it was. So let's go on in here into the family room. See we got a good amount of the ceiling torn out so we can reroute the air conditioning ducts because the this back wall is going to be coming out and we got to put a beam in so we got to reroute all the AC ducts around the beam. Lots of fun there. The laundry room we've got it all opened up now. This is going to be, part of it's going to be the new walk-in kitchen pantry, and then the rest of it is going to be the mudroom. Come on around here. So when you come into the mudroom, that's going to be a hallway to the um, back door going out to the pool. So turn around here, look back into the family room, back towards the foyer, and this is the wall that's going to be coming out. See all these floor trusses up here? That's holding up the whole second story. A lot of weight on this thing. So those trusses are sitting on top of this wall here. So we're going to be, we've already built a temporary wall on this side. So we can cut the ceiling joists, cut them back far enough. So the temporary wall is to keep everything supported properly. We will end up building another temporary wall on this side about three feet back kind of just this side of that gas pipe and that's going to hold everything up while we cut this big wall out get it all torn out and then we're going to be putting in a big seven inch wide wood beam up there it's about the 900 pound beam we're going to put in there and then all of these floor trusses are going to be tied back into the side of that beam with joist hangers, but these aren't just any type of joist hangers. These are joist hangers on steroids. That's a joist hanger. The typical joist hanger that uh, we use, just for reference, let me grab one here. I've got one in here in the garage. So, your typical joist hangers in your house. That's your typical joist hanger for a 2x6 um, floor joist or a 2x6 ceiling joist. That is the hanger that's going to be holding up uh, all these trusses. 66 three and a half inch um, nails are going to go into the, the, the beam itself. 22 um, screws, inch and a half, going into the trusses to hold everything in place. We have 10. Ten of these going in, one for each one of those floor trusses. So a lot goes into just taking out a wall. When someone says we can take the wall out, absolutely we can take the wall out. But a lot of times in this case, it takes a lot of work, a lot of manpower, a lot of heavy duty, expensive hardware. And uh, so it's, uh, as everybody says, you know, anything can be done for a price. Um, but it will make a huge difference in this room. So again, let me come through here. Again, temporary wall through here. Once we get the beam set, then of course this wall will come out. Now, we did open up the end of the, um, the sunroom, which from about this side of this fireplace bump out, coming across here, there's going to be another wall. So. On the inside of here, this is going to be the doorway opening into her master closet. Again, the, uh, the dressing area right through here. And now we have our opening into the master bathroom. So walk through here, and you can see where the walls used to be for the master bathroom. So the door for the um, closet used to be right here. Now we have opened all this up. You can see where the walls were, the ceiling. Now we've 
reframe the closet going into John's uh, small closet. Of course, the guys, they, we always get the small closet. So he's got this small closet, and Marno's got this football stadium-sized closet over here, and that's pretty typical. We're always getting the short end of the stick. So we, where the door was coming from the original master bedroom into the bath, that's being closed up. We opened up this wall here. We're going to slide in a, uh, a built-in recessed uh, uh, linen cabinet. Haven't got too much done over here yet for the tub and the shower. It's just we've been busy doing other things, let's say. But now looking back this direction, you can really see now how it has really opened this uh, tight um, kind of enclosed bathroom. It's really opened it up nicely. So I'm going to kind of cheat and go through this doorway here. Now this was the master was the master bedroom. So now it's going to be their office. So when you come through the doors, he's got a big safe, and he wanted a place to put the safe. So we made this cutout, and this cutout is underneath the staircase. This is the staircase landing. So you get halfway up to the staircase, and you're here, and you can kind of see how that slopes back down, going downstairs. Uh, we have opened up the fireplace, and uh, she was here this morning, and she said she absolutely hates the fireplace and wanted to know could we raise it and exchange it or take it out and replace it. And um, we got it taken out, and yes, I told her we can um, replace this unit. It's a zero clearance unit, meaning you can have wood all the way up, almost touching uh, the gas um, fireplace insert. Uh, so she wants to have a hearth, so we would need to redo the vent pipe that's going up, the chimney, if you will, and we would build a platform however high she wants it. It's usually about 16 to 18 inches off the floor, so the bottom of this fireplace would then be that high off the floor. Uh, but they're going to be looking to see if uh, they can find one that they like. So stay tuned on that. So again, there's the old door going back into the uh, master bath. Come back here, and there's another view of the, the wall that's coming out. So that pretty much... That's a wrap for today. Uh, after three days, you know, day one was pretty much prep work and getting ready to get uh, the job going, getting everything uh, covered up really nice and protected. So two and a half days, I think um, I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. And uh, we'll see how things go tomorrow. Our plan tomorrow is to actually take this wall out. And uh, so hopefully next video you'll see where... It's either we're taking this uh, the wall out or the wall has already been taken out. So we'll see how things go tomorrow. Thanks again, and we are out. Have a great day.